Okay, our next technique is spiraling wrist. This is, again, is for a bear hug, arms are free. So the first move we're going to start with is as they grab us, their hands are going to be around us like that. So we're going to attack the top of the wrist with our eagle beaks. And we're going to track those real small bones. It's real tender there. So you want to take your eagle beak strikes and strike it as hard as you can until they release those arms. So your first motion is a neutral stance. Strike the arms. Clear the arms. Then from here, we're going to grab into an outside wrist lock as we step forward, just like passing the horizon, followed by a front snap kick. Okay, again, strike. Drive the arms to clear them. Grab the hand like you would for an outside wrist lock. This is just like passing the horizon just from here. So this should be a very familiar move. You step left to 230. Right to 230 as the hand comes up and over and passes over, followed by a front snap kick to the face. Again, strike, clear, grab the hand, one, two, just like passing the horizon, followed by a kick. The B version on this, you've done your strikes and you've cleared, but they haven't let go yet. They're still hanging on. So we're going to revert back to what we know, circling elbows, because that's basically what you're in now. So we strike, we clear the arms, they don't come loose, so we immediately go into circling elbows. So if you need to review that part of the tape, go back to the beginning, it's technique number two, and review how to do circling elbows. So for spiraling wrist B, we strike, clear the arms, they don't come loose, so we cannot go into A, so we circle in and around and go right into circling elbows. We're going to start combining some techniques now in this belt. So, strike, clear, right into circling elbows. Okay, now let's do spiraling wrist with an opponent. So as Lee comes up and grabs with the bear hug, arms free there again, A version, the arms come loose. We strike with our middle knuckle fist right on top of the hand. It's real sensitive so it won't take much to do it. You strike it, the hands come loose, you drive them out to separate them. You're going to take your right hand and grab fingers to the palm, thumb goes right in between any of those bones or knuckles. Step out left to the 230 position. As you rotate the arm over, just like passing the horizon, counter grab with your other thumb and step back. Front snap kick to the face. Okay, again. They come up and they grab, we strike, we clear, counter grab, thumb to the hand, palms, step out left, pivot like passing the horizon, this is called an outside wrist lock, as we step back, front snap kick to the face. Again, one last time on A, they grab, we strike, drive the elbows, grab the hand, step, and clear. Now on this lock, make sure you're pointing the fingers towards your opponent at the same time you're pushing down on that wrist and that'll give you the control that you need. The B version for this, this is your what if. He grabs you and you strike and you drive but he doesn't let go, he hangs on. It doesn't matter. We're just going to go right into circling elbows. Okay, again, he grabs, we strike, we drive, he doesn't let go, so we just switch our technique into the circling elbows that you learned previously. Let's do this from a straight on view. Back up just a bit for A. So they grab on A, strike, clear, hand comes loose, thumb, palm, step out, make sure you're pushing down on the hand at the same time you point those fingers. He goes right down. You've got complete control of your opponent at that point. One last time on A. Strike. Clear. Thumb. Right between one of those bones. Counter grab with your other hand. Cross those thumbs. Apply that pressure. Push. And pull. The B version. Step forward just a bit. He comes up and he grabs. We strike. We go to clear, but he doesn't really let go. So we come back around and do circling elbow. Okay. 
One more time on B. Strike. Clear. Go into circling elbows. And that's spiraling wrist. A and B.